Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 2022 and in this video I will show you top 12 tips and tricks for beginners. So guys the first tip is about multitasking. So you can open three apps at same time and you can work on them. For example, I open Samsung Notes. Okay, and here is my notes and then I want to open one more app in the split screen. So I select this bar on the top. Okay, and then I select this first icon. This is about split screen. Okay, so I just select it. Okay and then I open it in a split screen okay so you can see now this open in the split screen mode okay now I can open one more app over here for example I can open this internet browser if I want to search on internet I can search it I can work on my notes as well the next thing is I can open one more app in a pop-up view okay so for example I just take out this edge panel okay I can select any app from here for example if you want to open YouTube if you want to open zoom if you want to open any um, educational app for example I have this Microsoft math solver okay I just drag it and I just drop it over here in a pop-up view okay so you can see there are three apps okay and I can still work on this app as well so I can work on these three apps together at same time okay now there is one more thing you can do is if you want to use the recent button option you can do it from there as well so you select this recent button these are all the recently open apps so you can open apps from here as well in split screen directly so i just select this icon so here you see this uh, option it says open in split screen view so i can open it in a split screen view here and then i can open the other app on the other side as well the next tip is about opening multiple apps in a pop-up view so you can open more than one app in pop-up view so you can go to your recent apps okay and here whatever app you open recently you can just select this icon okay so for example like this one i just selected and here you see this option of open in pop up view so I will just select it so once you select it here you can see now it is open in a pop-up view you can change its size and you can change its position as well okay so same way I can open other apps let's say I want to open this calculator app open a pop-up view so here you see this app is also open in a pop-up view I can resize it I can just select this one as well so two apps okay so same way I can open another app okay so for example I want to open this Zodo app and I open in a pop-up view like that okay and then I can also change it okay so like that okay and now for example if I want to open the other ones okay so I go to the home so three apps are here so I just select it so you can see they all stack together I can just select it from like this and then I can open them one by one okay so you can see so you can open more than one app uh, in a pop-up view the next tip is about edge panel so you can see i just take out this tray and here is the edge panel i have different apps uh, here available and if i scroll i have more option for example i can take screenshot uh, i can uh, use the other option like add event uh, add alarm okay then i also have the clipboard option the weather option so how to enable uh, this edge panel so you have to go into the settings once you enter into the settings just go into the display once you enter into the display you will see this option of edge panels okay just select it once you select it if it is turned off you have to turn it on like this so this is the first thing so once you turn it on it will appear over here you can take it out next thing is about panels just select this panels option so here you have different panels you can add uh, these panels if you want to if you don't want to use any of the panel you can just deselect it okay and then the second thing is you can also change the handle so handle is this this is the handle so you can change its color okay you can see i can change its color okay and then if you want you can also change its transparency so here is the transparency option okay and then we also have the size option you can increase or decrease its size from here and then here we have the width option you can make it thick 
in the middle or the thin option so whatever option you want you can select i prefer this one with the green color okay so this is how it looks like and i can easily use it okay so you can see over here you can also edit the apps of the edge panel just select these three lines okay and then select this edit option okay and then here you can add more apps into your edge panel for example, I want to add this Galaxy Store, I can just drag it and I can just drop it over here like this. It is now appear over here. Then if you want, you can also add Google, whatever app you want, you can select it. Okay, so let's say I want to add this calendar so I can add this calendar as well. So this is how you can add the apps in the edge panel. If you want to remove any app, so for example, I want to remove this Chrome, I just select this minus um, uh, icon from here just select it it will be removed and it will go over here now if I go to home screen take out the edge panel like this all the apps are available the next tip is about split keyboard for example I open Samsung notes and I want to use the keyboard option so keyboard is now uh, like this okay so for example if you grab your tablet like this and if you want to uh, access some of the alphabets you cannot easily access them so what you can do you can use the split keyboard option so here you see once you open the keyboard there is a small icon over here like this one and the third icon from this side okay so one two three so this is the third icon just select it so once you select it your keyboard will sp split okay and then you can easily write whatever you want okay so you can see over here okay so for example if I want to write over here so you can see I can easily write with two hands I can grab my tablet like this if you don't want to use this option just select this um, icon again and it will make the normal keyboard the next option is handwriting to text keyboard again I open the Samsung notes okay the keyboard is now here so here you have this second icon over here it's uh, about handwriting to text okay so for example I select it so it will open like this form and here whatever you write it will write it for you okay so for example you can use your finger so I write here whatever okay so here you can see it will convert it into the text okay you can also use the stylus I am using Amazon basic stylus okay so I will write here work and you can see over here now it converted into the text so you can use this option as well the next tip is about screen timeout okay so go into the settings okay and then go into the display and then uh, just scroll down and you see the screen timeout so you can select any screen timeout option for example I select 15 seconds so if I don't do any kind of activity on my tablet the screen will turn off the screen will sleep automatically so this will help you to save the battery so you can see over here now it is starting to turning off but if you don't want to use this option you can uh, just select the 30 minute the 10 minute whatever option you want you can select from here so for example now I select 30 minutes so after uh, inactivity of 30 minutes the tablet uh, screen will turn off the next setting is about double tap to turn on or turn off the tablet so if I double tap on home screen like this you can see the tablet is now turned off if I double tap again it will turn on so how to enable this option just go into the settings once you enter into the settings just go into the advanced features once you enter into the advanced feature just select this option of motions and gestures so here you see in motions and gestures I have two options the first one is double tap to turn on the screen okay so I enable it the second one is double tap to turn off the screen I also enable it so you can just use uh, double tap to turn on or turn off the screen like that the next setting is about hide apps so you can hide any app in your tablet okay so what you have to do is just come to the home screen like this just press just press uh, this home screen press and hold like that okay so once you press and hold like this you will see this option of settings just select it once you select it here you see this option of hide apps this is the number fifth option from top so hide apps just select it once you select it here you have all your apps available so for example I want to hide this calculator app let's say so I just select it 
so now you can see it will open uh, it will go into another tab it says hidden apps so the app is now hidden then i press done okay now the app is hidden okay so now you can see there is no calculator app showing on my tablet okay so if you want to unhide it you can also unhide it same process just select like that then go to the settings then select hide apps and here if you see this hidden app you select this minus icon just select it the app will go back to the normal unhidden position then press done okay and now you can access this calculator app so i will show you so here is your calculator app now available the next tip is about widgets so there are a lot of amazing widgets available so just press and hold the home screen like this select this widget option so here you can see you have calendar widgets okay you have clock device care digital well-being so you can select any of the widget for example i select this uh, digital well-being okay and then for example i like this widget i just press and hold it like that and then i can drag it into my home screen like that okay so now you can see it is showing me over here so you can add more widgets like this the next tip is about navigation bar so you can see at the bottom we have these three buttons the recent button home button okay or the back button so if you don't want these buttons from here if you want a single bar you can use this option go into the settings once you enter into the settings just go into the display once you enter into the display just select this option of navigation bar just select it so once you select it here you see this buttons option and swipe gestures option i select this swipe gestures option so once you select it you see the buttons are now removed okay so you can see okay so buttons are now removed now you can only use this single bar at the bottom okay and if you don't want this option you can just simply uh, select this settings option okay and then again display and then again a navigation bar and then you can select this buttons option there is a three swipe gestures option also available i just select it and then select this more options button from here okay so here you can see it is showing you three different uh, uh, swipe uh, gestures option so swipe from bottom like that so now you will have three different type of bars available at bottom so for example you select this one it will go to the home if i select this one it will take to the recent okay then this one and if you are here you can just go back you can just select this one the next tip is about taking screenshot so there are two different ways you can take the screenshot the first one is using this uh, power button and this volume down button just press them together to take screenshot so i just press them together so you can see now it took the screenshot so this is the first option you can also edit it as well the second option to take the screenshot is using the edge panel so i just take out the edge panel i just uh, take out the screenshot option i will show you so here you see this option of take screenshot just select it and it will take the screenshot okay there is one more thing you can do you can also use this uh, smart select option so i will show you here we have okay so here you see this rectangle oval okay so for example i select this rectangle so once you select it it will open a specific part in your screen so whatever specific part you want you can take the screenshot for example i only want to take the screenshot of this part i can do it okay or for example you open any app okay like this one uh, and you want to take a screenshot from a specific part okay so you just take out this rectangle like that okay and then you can take the screenshot for example i want to take screenshot of this part and then i press done okay so once you see you know you can pin it you can insert it you can edit it you can put text and you can download it as well the last option is about screen recording so you can record your lecture you can record your work you can record your screen so simply just scroll down this setting and then you see this option of screen recorder just select it once you select it here it will give you three different option are related to sound if you want the sound from the screen you can uh, select this media sound media sound and mic if you want to enable the mic as well okay and you can see this show tap and touches you can enable it as well and you can start recording so now after this countdown it will start recording whatever you do on your screen and then there is a uh, icon appear on top related to the recording okay so you can open anything okay and you can take 
uh, screen recording okay the second thing is you can also use this pen tool okay so this is the pen tool and you can write on your uh, screen recording as well so you can see you can write here as well okay so this will be very helpful for the teachers if you want to make some kind of lectures from their screen uh, using samsung notes or other app they can write on the screen they can mention something they can point out something on their screen as well and it will record as well and then if you want to pause you can pause and then you can move to the other part of the screen okay so for example other part and then you can resume your recording and then you can start recording as well and once you finish you can stop okay and it will automatically saved into your gallery so you can access it from your gallery so i open the gallery okay so here is the screen recording so i play video so here you can see the screen recording is now working so this is how it looks like okay so you can see over here now uh, uh, you can see so whatever i am doing it will show you uh, on my screen okay and then for example i i show you that i write it as well so here is the writing as well so guys this is how you can do the screen recording so this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much